Good morning, Scott students, Scott staff, Scott family. The day is the uh, 15th of March, 2021. And with that, uh, I got your news uh, today. I apologize. Um, um, I'll, I'll be honest. Um, forgot about the announcements until um, a few minutes ago. And uh, so hopefully this gets in before uh, the 7.30 uh, deadline. So with that, your news. Uh, first off, Give a shout out to Miss uh, Buckley, Mr. Akers, for the music um, in our schools month. Um, again, can't say this enough. Can't say as many times as I can say this as, as much as possible, but it doesn't do it justice. You guys do a heck of a job, and we appreciate having you here at Scott. Also, it is uh, National Nutrition Month, and with that, um, the good people at the National uh, Nutrition Bureau of American Society want to remind you that <clears throat> uh, fruit should be, um, you should be receiving at least three servings of fruit every day. And it even highlights and says um, grape, water, um, uh, watermelon, strawberry, um, mango, pineapple flavored drinks is not a source of fruit. So uh, if, if you want to, or, or, you know, the sour punch, like it's not fruit. Um, even like your fruit snacks, they're just really high in sugar. So um, best way to get fruit is again, straight from the produce. Thank you to our uh, people at the uh, um, national food and health society appreciate it also um in girls volleyball action last week uh girls took on gavit and uh, our seventh grade was uh, victorious in straight sets but our eighth grade lost in straight sets however uh, i can say this because i saw with uh, with my two eyes both teams did a heck of a job and um i got a feeling that uh, uh i don't want to put you in pressure but we might have a uh, two city championship uh, volleyball teams uh, this year. So um, next game is, uh, I believe they have a game tomorrow night. Uh, Mr. Bray, if I'm incorrect, please um, please let me know, but I believe it's tomorrow night. Uh, good luck, ladies. Students, you have about two weeks of the grading period left before your grades are uh, finalized. So, um, Reminder to be checking power school and school classroom to get your grades uh, all caught up. Also, um, last week we had our uh, secret staff scorpion. Um, the clues were a uh, person is a huge lover of Griffith, the town. Um, person went to high school at Griffith. A uh, person went, graduated from Purdue University. Their favorite comeback when in an argument is, quote, you. Um, person, um, likes, uh, or loves University of Penn State, even though they didn't go there. Um, nobody got it correct. Uh, so I'm going to give a, a fun fact, uh, a different fun fact this week. Uh, but, um, the answer to that was Mr. Fry. So, um, I guess, uh, Mr. Fry is, uh, um, not the most popular guy, or that was just a tough one. So, um, shout out to Mr. Fry, whatever he's doing. And, um, in lieu of that, we still want to give out, um, prizes. So with that, today is March 15th. It's also known as the Ides of March. So here is your fun fact, or here's your question. What Shakespeare play did the quote, beware the Ides of March come from? And what, what is significant about the Ides of March? So those are your two questions. Uh, if you have your answer, email it to me. The first uh, correct answer I get, excuse me. Oh, 
It's embarrassing. Um, first correct answer I get, um, we will email a, a gift card too. So again, um, um, two questions to it. So again, email me if you have the correct answer. That is all for your announcements. Have yourselves a great uh, Monday. We'll see you tomorrow on Tuesday.